Hey everyone, we had a great question in regards to um, what you do, what would you do if you have a uh, personal account for Google that you've been doing a lot of your storage and now you want to get it over to your uh, portage.k12.in.us domain. Um, what I would suggest and probably the easiest way to go about doing it is I would actually create a folder and I'm going to show you how to do that um, and then share that folder. So what you're going to do is get into whatever your browser is. I'm going to use Safari. I've been using Chrome, but I want to let you guys see that it's, uh, you know, you can pretty much use anything. I'm going to use what I consider a personal account, uh, which is this account here. You're going to log into your personal account, you know, the one that you've created yourself, not that the school district just created. And uh, we're going to get by this. Uh, they've asked me for a security check, which will just go to drive. Okay. So here's my drive account. So pretend this is my personal uh, resources here that are for my own personal use um, that I've been using in my classroom, but I want to get it over to the Portage account. Here is how I would do it step by step. So first thing I would do is actually click on new over here in the left hand column, click on new folder. It's going to ask you to name it and you can name it whatever you want. You can name it shared. I'm going to name it transfer. So I know that this is my transfer folder that transfers between the two accounts. Create it, and it's right up here. And you have one of two options. You can just click on it and go to the share transfer, or you can right click it or two finger click if you're depending on Mac or uh, PC. Click on share. And then I'm gonna type in the whole address because a lot of you will not have the ability of where it will populate. And I'm actually gonna type in my, my address just like you're gonna type in your address. So um, first name, period, last name at portage.k12.in.us. And then you do wanna give yourself the ability to edit. Okay, not view, but edit. Because you wanna be able to get into it and actually work it. So you're gonna send that. That means it's been officially shared. Um, so when I go back to Looking at these folders, I'll know that this one is shared. Um, see, because you see that there's a little person. Sometimes you have to click refresh so that you can see there's that little head, so you know. So as I'm looking at this, I'm going to show you and just demonstrate one way. So you have all your files. You can even move folders over, okay? And you can drag and drop, okay? Everything here is pretty much drag and drop. Um, you also can right-click and say move to and it'll give you the transfer folder, but I like the drag and drop. So I'm just gonna give you a demonstration. I'm putting one picture in there, okay? And it'll even, even ask you, do you wanna share this file? Because it'll tell you, hey, this folder is a shared folder. Um, are you sure you wanna make, you know, that you want everyone who's on that list sharing with it? You're gonna click okay. Okay, so now we've shared it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign out of this account so I can show you that it went over. Go into my Portage account now. This is my Portage account. Log in. You may have to type in the whole thing. Um, mine, I already have all mine set up. So once again, security check. We can just go right to, we'll click right here, go to drive. And then you're gonna to go to shared with me you'll see that that folders there click on it and there's that file that I shared and you can mass dump which means you can get that all into there, transfer and send it over um, the nice thing is you can click on that whole transfer file which we can go back and you'll see it right here okay and you can open it with other apps, rename it, um, you download, you can even remove it when you're done. So you have, you can even add it to my drive, which means that will actually go into the my drive and not be in the shared with me, which I highly recommend. Okay. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of uh, not having to kind of mess up my setup already, but you get the idea. So real simply, once again, all you're going to do is go into your old account, or your personal account.
click new, create a folder, call whatever you want, I've called it transfer, it's right over here. When you're there, right click it, or two finger click, click on share, put in your Portage account. Okay. Done, it's shared. Drag and drop everything you want into your Portage account. Makes it very simple. And then what you would do is then, obviously, when that's done, you go back to your original the account there, and it is sitting in the Shared With Me folder. And then you can move it over to Add to My Drive, and they'll, it'll be there. So just want to let you know how that works. I hope that's helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you may you know email me once again. And uh, I hope, like I said, that this video was helpful. And we'll be making a lot more videos, uh, just little tutorials to get you rolling with what you want to do to help out your students and, and be able to collaborate and share with staff and, and anybody else. Thanks.